Hi guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. This one's going to be a slightly bigger one than usual. Uh, so today we're going to be learning how to build the Cyclone class patrol vessel, which is used by the US Navy. It's 55 blocks long, 24 high, and 9 wide. So it's not absolutely huge compared to the rest of the American ships, uh, but it's quite a cool build. So I'm just going to fly over while talking to you guys about what you can expect from this build. It shouldn't take you too long as well, this one. So this is going to be a layer by layer tutorial, as most of my tutorials have really become this, especially with the ships. I just find that it works the best. I'm just going to change it today. <laughs> there we go. So this one is pretty easy. It's not crazily uh, massive. It's not too high out of the water either, so it hasn't got too much built up above the water. Um, so if you do want to use this build on you know, your world or servers, that's absolutely fine, as long as you credit for me for the design. So just put, you know, on a sign or something like that, if it's on a server, designed by Lord Dacca, that's absolutely fine. Um, especially on servers, because then it, you know, it boosts my channel up, and if the channel gets boosted up, then I'll be making more videos. The more videos I make, you know, the more stuff that you guys get for your worlds. So it kind of it goes full circle in a way, um, and it's also just... You know, good practice to, to credit me for it, but everything on the interior is going to be yours. Um, I will have, at some point, either on the end of this video, if it's quite a short one, which it should be, I'll have the actual interior part, like a walkthrough on it, or I might do it as a separate video later in the week. Um, so yeah, let's, let's kind of get started. So hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial. So let's do it. Okay guys, just before we start, um, so if you are building it underwater, you're going to be three blocks under the water. So the entire red section will be under the water, unless you want to make it lower. I've got the black layer showing just because it changes it up a little bit um, and breaks up the colour a bit. But it's up to you guys if you want to lower it, that's absolutely fine. But if you do it exactly the same as me, all these three layers will be under the water. If you want to lower it again, then build four layers under the water, so you've just got this grey bit on it. Um, so your water will be around this layer here. So let's get started. Okay, so find yourself a nice big spot. You're just going to place down four blocks. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to go three wide. Three wide, and this is going to be four as well. One, two, three, four. So make this all solid. Then five wide. And this is going to be 31 blocks in total. So I won't count this one. I'll just get back to you guys once this has uh, gone all the way down. 31 blocks from this one. That's a count in this one. And then we'll resume again. Okay, so once you've got that 31 and you've filled it in solid, what you're going to do is come on the back. You're just going to have a 3 and then just a 1. So the back is really, really simple, and that finishes up layer number 1. Okay, guys, so we're now on layer number 2. So come to the front. You're just going to place one block coming forwards. And all you're going to do is just outline the ship, including this really long run. And then I'll get back to you guys once you pull both of those back, just to this point here. Okay, then once you pull both of those back uh, in this gap here, you're going to place, place an iron block and then go seven, count on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the inside here, just going to cover up these gaps and go one each. Just like that. And then on the end of these props, what you're going to do is place two blocks of gold like this and just come out diagonally and make some propellers. Just like this. So the propellers themselves are super, super easy. It's just diagonals of the main kind of shaft part. So this is, um, again, Jag Funders design for these propellers. This is where I've kind of got it. Um, so let's go on to the next layer. So I might as well mention as well, uh, with these propellers, um, <laughs> there is actually supposed to be four propellers on the back of this ship. Uh, kind of like smaller ones, but there's no way I can fit it in with Minecraft blocks being so big. Uh, which is why I've got two of them in. So this is kind of like me making do of it. Okay, so we're now on layer number three. So come to the front, add one block, then you have four. So one, two, three, four. So some of these are on top. Have another four. One, two, three, four. Then the next layer is going to come out. And it's just over by one on this layer here. And this will just get pulled all the way back and it'll go over by one as well. So it's over by one on each side with this long layer. They're just going to have a one, one, and one, and then just do exactly the same on the other side. Okay, so we're now on layer number four, so we're onto the black layer, so you guys should be out of the water. Uh, so you're gonna come forwards by one, for black, just like this, then you got a two, and then you got a three, one, two, and three, and a four, one, 
two, three, and four. And then this one is just going to outline exactly the same as the back, as the as the layer four. So it's just going to basically be exactly the same length. Just get to this point on both bits, and then we've just got to build this back part up, which is a bit different. So do that on the other side. Okay, so you should have this on both sides now. So it should just be on the outside of this one. All you can do is add eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So it goes one past this propeller. And you're going to come across the back, so you're coming out. It's going to be seven long in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one should be the same as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I didn't do this one seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yep, so I did it six. Then all you're going to do is you're just going to fill in these holes here. Just fill up this gap with black wool just coming in just like this. So it's really, really easy. So finish that off and then you're done with layer number four. Okay, so we're now on layer number five. So it should be onto either uh, light gray wool or iron blocks if you're building it the same as me. I'm pretty sure none of you guys built the same as me with the iron blocks. Um, but it doesn't really matter. So if you're using your light gray wool, then use your light gray wool. So you're going to come forwards by one. And you've got another one. Then you've got a four. So one, two, three, four. And a five. One, two, three, four, five. Then this one's going to be straight on top. And there's only one extra block right at the end. And instead of it just going around like this, all you're going to do is just add in a block like this. So do the same on the other side. Okay, so we're now on layer number six. So grab your light gray wall or iron block again. And you're going to come forwards by one. And you've got another one, then a two, and a five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Then this is going to be overhang by three, but we'll just be laying right on top. So you've got this over overhang by three. Bring this one all the way to the back. Just to this point here, the little the, there's a slight change at the back, so do the same on the other side, and I'll get onto this part for you guys. Okay, so once you've brought both of those back, you're going to add a block here, here, and then here, and here, and this is just going to go across the back. So you're creating this kind of there's a bit at the end of this ship where you can actually go down. I'm guessing it's for like the small craft if people need to get in it down here or instead of it just being winched down on the crane and put down with the people inside it's a lot safer to actually just have one person then come around the back and get them onto it. Uh, so now we're on to the next layer. Okay so we're now on layer number seven so come to the front again you're gonna go forwards by one then another one then a two two Jesus Christ then a two so you got one one and two don't place a million blocks like I just did. Then you got five so one two three four and five and then this one's just going to overhang by one and goes all the way back just like we did before just like this comes all the way back this is actually quite a long run now just like this it's just one short of this block here and it just comes across the back like this so do the same on the other side and we're on to the next layer Okay, so once you've done that on, uh, you've done it on both sides. What you're going to do? This is where your main deck is in. So just put in. I used grey wool for this on every single little bit. So go all the way around the ship, uh, all the way around the ship. Just fill in the entire ship, and I'll get back to you guys for the next layer. Okay, then once you've filled in your entire deck, what you can do is you can come around the back part, and you can put in some ladders either here or here. It's up to you guys. I'm going to put mine here. Then all you're going to do with your iron bars is bring them around the entire outside of the ship. So all the way. And all I did on the front is when you've got these bits here, I wrap them around onto these bits. You can either keep the, the grey wall here or you can put in iron blocks. It's up to you guys what you want to do. So do that and I'll get back to you guys for laying on the top part. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, go to the front and you're going to count back five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth, come across by three so you got one two three four five blocks of gray here then go diagonally with a slab and behind this what you're going to do is just going to create this kind of shape here this is for the gun itself then place a slab in behind this then you got your stone brick stair on this part here and then you're going to just come forwards twice with fence gates like this just like that so that's how i've done the front gun it's a pretty easy one um I'm sure you guys can come up with a better way of doing it as well, but that's just what I kind of had for mine as I've got a bigger gun on the back part. Okay, another thing you can do with these this gun here is you can just put your weighted pressure plates on the side or use normal pressure plates, it's up to you. Then leave a one block gap, you're going to go three, and then 
come back diagonally and this is going to go pretty much all the way back it's going to leave eight blocks of grey wall at the back so just bring it back here so one two three four five six seven and eight so one two three four five six seven and eight so just bring both of those back all the way and then leave two block gap of grey here so you're just going to place down a wall so that'll just be this bit. This is just kind of, I'm pretty sure it's some sort of storage thing for the boats or parts or something. So I'll just put in a little bit here. Uh, so that's where that goes. And then just build these up by two. So go up by two. And there's going to be five in total. One, two, three, four, five. Let's build those up to a total height of three. Just like this. And including this wall here. Just like that. And then behind this, you're going to have five of these. So one, two, three four and five and it's just kind of like a raised deck that they've got on these parts so just put that in and you can put in a wall here as well uh, this space doesn't really get used at all what you could do if you wanted to is just cut out all of this and have a bigger storage area uh, but online I've just cut it out cut it out to here so it's up to you guys what you want to do with this part okay the next section is six so you got one two three four five six same on the other side and then build this up again just like this and then building your walls as well on these parts same on this side as well just like that and then you've got another set of five of these ones so one two three four and five like that okay then come around to this back piece we might as well build this one up so you can just take off these fill in the floor as well so it's just going to be an extra three on the end of this one so it just sticks over like this and then fill in the floor of the next one as well. So like this, you got the roof on this one. So I mean not the floor. Well, it's kind of both. And then on this one, there's actually going to be a, kind of like a box type thing, which is four by two. And then just put your stone slabs on top of this. Like that. And then with fence, you're going to go around, except for the middle one. Because uh, there's these kind of walkways that go across each of these. So you can do the same on this one as well. Just snake around some fences, but leave the middle one here. And then we're going to build a gun at the back. So this is the same as the one that I did on Daring. So it's a one, then you got two threes. The fences do connect in a bit annoyingly, but um, it's kind of up to you if you want to keep it. So then across the top, go three, and now three. So basically just doing exactly the same pattern as we did on the bottom. Just moving it up by one. Now I'm going to take out this block here. This is where your seat can go. Right in the middle of this block here, we're going to place uh, one down, just like that. So we one at the back as well. And then this gun, I just put forwards by two with fence gates. So it's up to you if you want to use fence gates or if you want to use stone slabs. Um, it's really up to you, kind of what you want to do. But I I've used fence gates on mine, so I'll leave it like it is with those like that. So that builds up the back gun. Okay, and then for the walkway, what I did is I used stone slabs, and they just come up over the top like this, so that you can actually walk underneath here. Then I used uh, cobblestone slabs on the side. It's just one higher, just like this, and then goes down. There is like a kind of canopy roof on this part. Um, some of them I saw in kind of like a yellow color, so you could use sandstone, uh, but it didn't look quite right. So I switched it to the cobblestone slabs. So that's what you do for these parts. And then just come on the insides. I just put a block on each of these to cover up the gap. And just made it symmetrical on each side. So that's the walkway from this back part over to here. Um, I also did put in just a block here. Because um, there is kind of random stuff on the actual, uh, on the kind of top parts itself. So you can just put in a block there if you want to. Okay, we're just going to build the kind of back bit because it's just a simple crane and there's also a little dinghy type craft. So come, uh, when you've got this bit going across the back, just come in one, place down a, like a stone st a stone brick stair or something like that. That's just to hold the actual dinghy itself. So then it's going to be a three block gap in between, so you might as well cut this out. Then you've got another one here. And then uh, just come on the inside, you're going to place down a number two. There's just going to be a one block gap in between. And on top of this, I used light grey wool. If you've made the ship out of light grey wool, then choose another colour. Um, whatever you kind of uh, want to use, you know, it's up to you. This can be any colour, they can be black or something like that. A lot of the kind of zodiac small craft are actually black anyway. So then just build in a floor. I use cobblestone slabs for this. And I built up 
uh, I built up this part here and put in a stone brick stair as kind of like a control panel. Another thing you can do with this is if you grab some sort of uh, fence, even never brick fence or something like that, you can come across the back like this. Um, it's really up to you what you want to do with this part. So let's build the crane. Okay, then what you're going to do for the crane is if you just come in one block from this part, so you've got one block gap here, it's going to build a small cross and come up by three with iron blocks. In diagonal, you're just going to come up by two, I think it is. Yep, just by two. It's quite a small crane. So then just put your never brick fence on the kind of back of these parts and come down maybe by two, something like that. Uh, this crane would, of course, be kind of like wrapped up on itself. Uh, it's just to try and show it a little bit better. And then that's actually finished off the back section, so you can always, you know, put some stuff in here, some supplies, chests and things like that. And we'll get on to this next one. Okay, so for the next section what we're going to do is just going to build, uh, place a block here. I have a cobblestone wall, a light grey wall, this is some sort of sensor. And then just on this side here we're going to just go up two with cobblestone wall and never brick fence. If you're on the Xbox uh, edition I believe you don't actually have the cobblestone wall, or well, you might do, I can't really remember. Um, if you don't, just Use some sort of fencing, it's absolutely fine, it won't make too much difference at all. And then on this gap here, what we're going to do is we're going to place down a cobblestone wall fence, black piece of wall, and put a trap door on it. So this is the kind of this is the best I could come up with the app for the uh, LRAD device, which is the long range acoustic device. Um, that's the best I could kind of come up with it. It's pretty simple, all it is is a piece of wall with a trap door on it, so not really that inventive. If you wanted to, you could get some buttons and put them around the side and the back. It's really up to you what you want to do, but that's that's pretty much what I came up with. Um, again, you could probably not put a slab on top, it doesn't look right. But yeah, um, so let's get on to the next part. Okay, then come around to the front. And what we're going to do is we're just going to build up this wall here, up by one more, just like this. This is probably the most trickiest part of the build because it's quite, it's very, very busy. There's lots and lots of little bits. Uh, especially when you walk around on top of here, you know, you've got a way up to the kind of upper viewing area type thing. And then of course you've got the walkway directly across it. But also if you snake around then you actually get to the bridge itself which is tiny. So this is a bit, a bit, probably the most complicated part of this build. Okay, then come to the front. I'm just going to put three slabs across the front and then two on each side. Then this part is going to be three slabs coming across. Um, I've just done this so that you get a tiny little bit more height inside it. So let's get on to the next part. Okay, and then just bring your iron or light grey wall, kind of the walls itself, right back. Just like this, and come across the back here. And then what I did is these two, I put in light grey wall, there's some sort of like vents or something like that. Um, so if you're making it out of light grey wall, choose another colour, stone or something like that. Um, I also cut out this section here as a way to get into the this section, this kind of box here, but also so that you can put in like a, some stairs on the side to get down into the lower decks. So this is why I actually placed it because it's quite busy here, so you can actually try and hide a door in there. Okay, so with your stairs, they're going to come on this outside part here, just like this. You're going to cut out this this one here, and they're going to come up. You can actually fill this deck in now as well, so grab your grey wool or whatever colour you're using for the deck. And just fill this in for the time being and we'll cut out bits, it'll just make it a little bit easier to set off, set on top, uh, you know, the bits that we have to actually do. Okay, then come to the side of this stair here and we're going to just add five blocks, one, two, three, four, five. So that, and then for five on top of those, then two, and then a three coming across the front. So these pieces of grey wool have to be switched out for uh, iron blocks. And the same again on the bottom layer, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then build on top of this 5, comes in by 2, and then you've got your 3 there. And then off of these two pieces of grey wall, we're going to add 6 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, same again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, we're going to delete them, then leave a block, then do the same. It's just building up for the actual uh, antenna part itself. And then on the front you've got two pieces of glass here and then three across here. Same again, two here, three across here. And then off this back part here, go count up one, two, and then the third block. Just add three blocks like this. So again, one, two, and three. 
and then you're just going to add two stone slabs in the middle of these and that's going to be a block of iron at the front like this add your stone slabs on the top of these pieces of glass like this and over this gap here just like that then you can add your glass pane as well across this part so this is the kind of top section um, if you do want to put your ladder in to get up into this part it just goes, it needs to just build a wall up here, which is a good why I said about that. So I just made the wall too high in total, and then that's where your ladder goes up here. So that allows you to get up into this section here. Okay, another part that I've done is just on this side rail here, I've just gone in one block and I've added two, so you've got a doorway uh, going into this section here. It's pretty small, it's up to you if you want to add this, so it's just one there and then two there. So as you can see, this part is pretty complicated uh, just to fit everything in. This is the actual bridge itself, it's tiny. So you might want to, I don't know, take out these two blocks, maybe add one on there uh, to make it a little bit bigger. So you can get a couple more blocks in. Um, I'll build it exactly the same way as I've already done it, so you guys have got the exact version, but there's also another idea for you. Okay, on the side of these blocks as well, we're going to just put in a number brick fence and then go up by three. Same on the other side, one, two, and three, just like that. I'm going to build the guns on the side, so in the middle of this five, it's going to place a fence and a fence gate, same on the other side, in the middle of the five, fence, then fence gate, just like that, and place two never brick fences on either side of these, uh, the reason I'm using never brick fence is just because it changes it up from the actual kind of wood fence colour, but it's up to you if you want to like mix and match, and then on top of this just place your cobblestone slabs, and come across by five, one, two, three, four, five, then again on the next layer you're just going to go up by one and it should just kind of hook in around this same again one two three four five and then same again on this part here just like that and then for the roof of this part you're just going to come over here top it's going around then the next bit is raised up like this and on each of these there's just going to be a raised part like that so we've got this raised part in there and then on top of this, you're going to place down stone slabs on each of these. Then on the kind of middle part, you're going to go up by one. One slab like this. So you have to kind of work your way around it, just like that. So you're going to build these just up one more slab. Okay, and then on the top of these, just add three never brick fences on each of these. One, two, three. And there's going to be three in the middle as well. So they all just kind of join together in a big clump. Then on either side, add one, and then on the high, higher part, add two. So you're making this kind of step pattern, just like this. It's a really easy one. Right, okay, then come around the back. You're just going to add an extra fence, then go up by one, and go again. Then go up by four in total. So counting that one, one, two, three, and four, like that. Then on the top of this part, you're just going to make a cross pattern, like this, and then add an extra slab to the middle here, put your cobblestone wall or never brick fence or normal fence if you're on Xbox. And then I use court slab for this part if you are on Xbox. Pick another slab that's kind of bright or dark, it doesn't really matter what you use, just pick something else that isn't the stone slabs. They're going to come out just twice diagonally. Just like this. Pretty easy. And now I've just got a couple little um, kind of pressure plates to to place around everywhere and we are completely done. Okay so I placed a couple of pressure plates on the front part here just on these parts here. Um, I didn't place any between the guns just because it looks a bit weird like that um, but it's up to you if you want to put them in. Uh, we do actually have another bit I actually completely forgot about joining this part to this part so let's do it now. Okay so on the back of this we're just going to go up by one slab here and this is just going to come across you can either have it just like this on the inside or you can have it going over. It's up to you guys what you want to do. Then with your uh, cobblestone kind of slab, you're just going to come across the top one higher. Just like this. And then this one's a bit uh, annoying actually. Two, three. Because you can only get three slabs in because of the stair. Um, I would have liked to, it to have gone kind of all the way over. That would have finished it off, but then you can't actually get inside. Um, the only other alternative is actually to cut out of this tower and actually have the stairs on the inside coming up here. Uh, but it's really up to you. If you want to do it this way, then you just add three slabs and you have to kind of just live with it, really. 
Um, but that is pretty much it. So you've got your whole walk around. You can now go across all of these kind of sections on the top. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, uh, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, it's a pretty cool build. There will be a, either part two or just probably be added on the end of this video as it's quite a short one. Uh, which will just show you guys a couple of ideas for the interior. And just kind of give you an idea to get started and get this build finished. So well done guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Okay, so let's have a look at what I did on the interior itself. Uh, so at the back, like I said in the tutorial, I have put in some, like these shelves, which are just um, are just stairs and also some chests. So that's the only bit I've really done on the back. Um, I put in a door going down to here as well, which I've just got some chests in. I've got some just jungle wood planks with um, item frames and a slab in there just to make it look like it's got an actual drawer on it and just a couple of chests, so I just tried to fill up that space because it was getting kind of wasted. Um, of course you've still got that empty space behind that one, but it doesn't really matter. Another thing you can do as well with this space is you can have a ladder going up to it from underneath, it's up to you what you want to do really. Uh, and then when you go inside I've got the smallest like mess hall whatever, it's just got two little tables and a couple of stuff, there's a kitchen, so it's pretty small, the ship itself is pretty small. Uh, then you go down the steps and into like a storage room. Uh, so this and then you go underneath here. I've got more storage crates just across the side as well. So it's quite cramped because it is quite small. Um, and we've got the bathrooms in here. So I've got a couple of toilets in here. And I've got a shower as well. Quite a big shower. Um, that's pretty much it for that. There's not too much there. And then I've got the crew quarters themselves. So it's just got a couple of tables. And you've got your bunk beds with these kind of chest drawer type things next to them. They're kind of like lockers. Um, what else is there? I think the last thing is just the engine room, which I'm not that happy with the engine room. I've kind of not spent that much time. It's mainly got like these panels with like buttons and stuff. Uh, you got this big thing, whatever it is. Um, and then where I've got the the drive shafts themselves, which are there. These are actually just connecting into this kind of system. Uh, obviously, it wouldn't actually work like that, but but you know, like I've just tried to make some piping that goes into this kind of big kind of square blob with a piece of glass and some redstone on it. So that's all that I've really done for the interior. There's really not too much to it at all. It is quite a small ship, but um, it's still quite cool to have in your build. Uh, so I will see you guys later.